Scientists are hoping to unlock the mysteries of climate change by studying pollen thousands of years old. But first, they have to dig it out of a swamp in Maryland. Sally Kidd reports from Finzel, Maryland. We're at Finzel Swamp in the mountains of Western Maryland. We're interested in understanding how trees respond to climate change over long periods of time. Buried deep in the mud of the Finzel Swamp are layers of sediment holding ancient pollen. We're looking at stuff that's thousands of years old. Tiny grains preserved over the ages, each serving as a time capsule of sorts. Researchers extracting cores of mud from the swamp, then isolating pollen from red spruce trees, once abundant here. We know that when climate changes, natural systems respond. And one of the responses that we see when we look to the past is that vegetation changed. If you could hop in a time machine and travel back 15,000 years, this would all be tundra, kind of like what you'd see in northern Alaska today. As the climate warmed since the last ice age, different trees and plants became established here, and that all is recorded in the pollen record. Put a cover slip on there. In the lab, paleoecologist David Nelson works to sequence the DNA of the red spruce pollen, which is then compared with the DNA of modern day red spruce. We can look at its chemistry that tells us something about um, the drought stress that these plants experience. We could also extract DNA from, from those pollen grains to tell us something about the population dynamics back through time. Was the population shrinking or thriving? The answer could be locked inside these microscopic bits. By understanding how trees have responded to climate change over the millennia, scientists are hoping to predict whether they will adapt or succumb to changes in the future. In Finzel, Maryland, I'm Sally Kidd. And the team is at the halfway point through its research, hoping to have answers in about another two years or so. It's really fascinating, Very interesting. Very right? much so.